Hi guys, and welcome back to Mama Just Knits. Today is December the 10th, and this is episode 8. Oh, how's your week been? Mine has been okay. Of course, it's only Tuesday. Um, we still have the rest of this week, and three and a half days of next week, and then we are on winter break, which I'm looking forward to. It's supposed to snow tonight. Um, we're not supposed to get a whole lot, but um, a lot of us are wishing and hoping for at least a two-hour delay tomorrow. That way we can sleep in a little bit. Um, I'm Jess, and you can find me on Instagram as Mama Just Knits, on Ravelry as J Strack, and I have a Ravelry group, uh, Mama Just Knits podcast. If you Go into Ravelry and click on Groups. Um, there's a little search bar, and as you just type in Mama Just Knits Podcast, it should put it, pull it right up. Uh, we're not a very big group right now. I think there's eight of us in there, maybe nine. Um, it's not very chatty. <laughs> um, but we have a group. And I also have a Facebook group um, called Mama Just Knits. And you can email me at Mama Just Knits at gmail.com and um, my 15 year old is going to try to help me edit this video and so I'm hoping that I'll be able to put all of this information up on the screen as to where you can find me we'll see <laughs> um, you know kids they're good at computers and iPads and all that kind of stuff where I don't know a whole lot about them well, I did absolutely no sewing this week. Um, this weekend was a little bit crazy, so I didn't get to get in front of the sewing machine, which I desperately need to because I'm making some project bags for some people and I need to get those made and out in the mail and I've got some knitting friends that I want to gift some to. Um, hopefully none of them watch the pack podcast <laughs> or if they do then they know that they're going to be getting a bag uh finished objects guys i'm so excited uh, i'm gonna start with these first um because they are my son's christmas socks and i told him he couldn't have them until after the podcast so, I need to get them done. So, the yarn is Knit Picks Felici, Felici in the um, Highland colorway, the, the stripe, the green stripes. And then the red is Knit Picks Stroll in the Hollyberry colorway. And he's got a pretty, pretty good size foot. But, um, yeah, I got them both finished. Super excited. He's super excited. Can't wait to wear them. I, they don't match up exactly. Um, I think I told you guys last time that this, this, the beginning of the skein had this really weird mess up stripe in there. So I've got that in there and it ended on... The color that I started it with up here and so I only got like a teeny tiny part of a like half of a, <laughs> a round stripe there um, before it started going into this other green but this one turned out really well and I, I don't even mind how it split that um, light green stripe here for the the heel I think they're adorable. He likes them. He tried them on. He said they fit perfectly and he can't wait to get them. So he'll probably wear these to school tomorrow. Um, no particular pattern. I just got that. It's just a vanilla sock pattern that I um, swapped up the swapped out and made the um, heels, toes, and cuffs different colors. This next project, guys, while I love knitting it, I'm so happy to be done with it. Um, 
and it took me so long. I think it's because I was working on other projects, but I am done with this beauty. I do have to wash it and then block it. And by block it, I mean I've got um, these like rubber mats, kind of like the rubber mats that you put down in like a kid's playroom area. Um, but you wash it and then you take it and you spread it out and you really give it a good stretch so it'll show all your beautiful stitches. Um, it just shows your stitches so much better and it keeps um, the end from curling up because notice this is curled under and so when I block it it will stay straight like that. Um, after I block it um, and let it dry I'm going to take it and I seam up all but like a little neck area here. You seam that up and then it's a beautiful, I call it a poncho. Um, the pattern is called Cape Elizabeth and it is by Alicia Plummer. And the yarn I use for that is um, Malabrigo Rios. Or Rios. I'm not sure how you actually say it. I say Rios. Um, and the colorway that I cannot pronounce, it starts with a Z. It's like Zabarbo or something. I don't know. I'll put it down in the show notes down below. Um, the color name and brand and the, um, the pattern name too, just in case you didn't get that. And that is it for my, um, my, um, projects and, or for my finished objects, works in progress. I, um, some of these I've worked on more than others. This one is just another, it's my dishcloth. I've seriously done like maybe three rows on it since my last podcast. I'm in the decrease, so it'll come to a point that way it kind of just makes a nice square. Um, and that is in the peaches and cream gray color. Not sure what the exact color name is. So that's one. <laughs> so this, this next one, I literally just started this morning. And it is going to be, oops, 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 oops. I've got two projects in this bag. One I haven't started yet. But I have, goodness, I have the needles in there waiting to start it. Um, but I started my daughter Natalie's Christmas socks. They're huge. Got a lot done, didn't I? Actually, I think I've gotten three rows done. But I've got them started. Um, so I'm excited for that. And that's going to be... So hers... She wanted hers to be the um, Knit Pick Stroll Holly Berry. So she is kind of copying my 13-year-old Addison. And they both want a solid Holly Berry sock. And then they want a solid... Um, sock in the Everglade Heather by Knit Pick Stroll or Knit Pick Stroll um, so they'll basically have mix, mis, mismatched socks um, in that same project bag and I haven't started the sock yet I'm starting my daughter Kaylin's sock and hers are going to be um, the body will be the Holly Berry and the heels and toes will be the um, Everglade Heather. And I'll show you those, of course, whenever I get them started. But like I said, I just cast these on this morning. Thought I'd give you a little peek at them. It's not much, but it's a start. And then in my... Ginger snap that 
porcupine bag. You guys are probably tired of seeing my same old bags. When I get some more made, and I'll start putting projects in them. I have my husband's socks. And these are made out of the um, online super sock. Colorway 1922. And so they do the the self, the, the design on it. The yarn just does it. But I'm actually on the heel flap now. Um, I've still got a 12, about 12 more rows of the heel flap to do. Then I'll do the actual heel and then I'll turn it and it'll look more like a the foot of a sock. But I'm pretty proud. I think I'm definitely going to have them done by Christmas. Um, once we get on winter break, I'll have more time to knit um, and hopefully get them done. Time's just super limited right now um, with working, and they've actually extended my long term a little bit. So um, I'll be working through break now. So or not through break, but until we get to break. All right, and then this I have. Um, after I finished the um, Cape Elizabeth, I really started kind of going on this because um, I need to have it done. I need to have it done by before the 20th. And there's my stitch marker where I was last Tuesday. So I didn't get a lot done, but I got a chunk done and it is it is bigger than my wingspan right now so I can't get it all in the in the camera but isn't that pretty a little tweety so anyway I um I've gotten a good chunk of that done I'm, I'm about halfway done with the scarf I uh, just started a second skein of yarn and the yarn that I'm using on that is the um the Karen Simply Soft yarn. Um, oh, I got a mess here. And it is in the colorway Gray Heather. Um, and so I've been trying to work on that mostly during the day now. Um, when I get breaks at school or, um, you know, breaks. <laughs> Not much. So, and this next object, I'm gonna show you. Um, I actually have not worked on it at all in a while, but I am hoping to get it done so that I can give it to her for Christmas. And that item is. Sorry about the crinkling noises. I'm trying to get it out here. Oh, of course, I'm on the sleeve that's in the direction. So this is ah, tangled. <laughs> a tangled mess is what it is. Um, and I'll explain to you why it is a tangled mess in just a second. But this is my 14 year old daughter's it's called um, Harvest Cardigan by Tin Can Knits. And it is really pretty. I've got one sleeve done. I've got the entire body done. And I have this much of the second sleeve done. I should be able to get this done before Christmas, right? One would hope. Um, and the reason why it's a tangled mess is because I'm actually using two different balls of yarn and I'm alternating skeins. Um, I alternated skeins throughout the body of the sweater um, because I kept reading that like if, you, if you're using hand dyed yarn or even Malabrigo, which this is that's what this is, it's Malabrigo. Um, 
Malabrigo Rios. Um, I've read that like if you don't alternate skeins, and by alternating skeins, I mean like you knit a row or two and then you switch to a different skein of yarn. Um, if you don't do that, then it can cause pooling, which means that like you could have a big blob of like the lighter shade here and then a big blob of dark here. And, you know, you don't want that in your sweater that you've taken a long time to to make. And the lovely thing with this is, is I'm alternating it and it just makes a nice little edge on the inside of your button band, but we're not putting buttons on. This cardigan doesn't call for buttons on it. You can, but um, I've chosen not to because I'm hoping it's going to be kind of an oversized and she can just kind of wrap it around. Um... And the color that I'm using for her sweater is called Winter Lake. And it's really gorgeous. I think I've got a skein. Um, I do, but it looks kind of pitiful. <laughs> um, it's the... The Winter Lake in the Rios, Rios, however you say it. It's just gorgeous. It's just light and gray um, with a tinge of blue and purple. It's really pretty. Um, and I will have enough left over to so that I can make her a hat to match, um, which I'm excited about. Um, I think she'll like that. I had told her she wants a hat. She wants a new hat. And, um, she's picked out a style and so, and a yarn, um, that does, it's not that. And I told her that I wanted to make her a matching hat, to, um, to match her sweater. So eventually I'll get around to that. Um, also I wanted to show you, um, I just found a finished object that I finished a while ago and forgot all about it. I made this for myself, but I have a whip to go with it. And that is this beautiful cabled scarf. I forgot all about this. It's down in the bag with my daughter's sweater. So I have not worked on it in a while. And that is also Malabrigo. And so maybe I'll get, along, get around to making that for myself or finishing that for myself. And then I'll have a matching set. It's amazing the things you find when you go looking. <laughs> um... I'm finding all sorts of stuff down in this bag. So, sorry, I keep going out of the camera shot. I just want to get this picked up because Bear is actually laying behind me. And he's sleeping, but he also likes yarn. And he has learned to jump in my lap. And the other day, he jumped in my lap and grabbed the skein of yarn that I was working on my son's socks with and took off. Pulling the skein of yarn and the project out of my lap. He got in a little bit of trouble for that. Okay, so that is all my works in project or works in progress. Like I said, I want to get um the gray scarf done. I have to have that done before the 20th cuz I'm delivering it um to the new owner. Um on the 20th so that is all the works in progress i have so the next time i podcast well it should be next tuesday so it'll be before the 20th so i hopefully will have that scarf done by then and i will be able to show it to you and if um 
I will have the Cape Elizabeth blocked and sewn together, so um, I might go ahead and show that again just to show you how, not how I um, sewed it together, but um, just how it sits on your body. Because um, I know that sometimes without it being sewn and you're just trying to show that it's going to, you know, it's going to have a neck opening and it's going to drape this way, sometimes it's a little easier to actually <clears throat> model it on somebody and show you what it looks like. Um, as far as items that I want to make, um, so I have two of nine pairs of Christmas socks made. Um, my husband's aren't really going to be Christmas colors. Um, I'm just kind of making those for him for Christmas. So maybe his Christmas colored ones will be, um, next year. Because next year I would like to make the entire family Christmas socks before Christmas rolls around. That way they can wear them the entire month of December. Along with their socks from this year. Um, I also want to make hats for, for my students in my classroom that I'm in. Um, I don't think I'm going to have them done by winter break. I hope I do, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, but I would love to surprise them with those. Um, and some of them, well, they all know that I want to make them hats and they all know that I plan on making them hats. Um, but there's one little boy in particular that really wants his hat. <laughs> um, it's gotten to the point where if he sees me knitting, he'll ask, he was asking me all the time if that was his hat and when is it my, when am I getting my hat, Miss S? And finally I was like, buddy, if you bug me one more time about that hat, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> and of course I would never do that because I would never make one for the others and then not make him one. In all honesty, his will probably be the first I make. Um, so I want to do that. And then I am actually going to be test knitting a cardigan pattern for Alicia Plummer. Um, I have to decide what yarn I'm going to use out of my yarn vault, AKA my closet. Um, I've got several sweater quantities of yarn in there. So I just needed to kind of decide what color I want it to be. Um, I asked Alicia and she said that I absolutely can share it with you guys. Um, of course I can't share the pattern. Um, and I won't, I don't think she wants me sharing the finished object until she's published the pattern. Um, but she did give me permission to share my test net on the podcast. So I will share it as I'm working on it and as it's growing. Um, and I will, I'll ask her about the finished project, but, um, I think she said she didn't want anybody sharing pictures and stuff. Um, and then that is due, I believe she said mid-January. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, that's due to mid-January. And that pattern will be for sale on Rivalry. Anyway, moving along. I did some shopping. However... That was really good. My daughter Natalie is wanting to knit some dishcloths. And so is my older daughter Kaylin. And um, Michael's was having a pretty decent sale. It was like buy two get one free. Um, and I think Natalie said that she has like... Uh, crazy amount, like 14 or 15 dishcloths to make. Um, and so she was going to need some more cotton. Um, 
that girl is whipping them out. On Sunday alone, she made three. So she is going to town. But whenever I went, I picked out a few for myself because I want to kind of stock our closet here with some and give some as gifts. And so I found, um, for those of you who know me in real life, you know that I am a huge Kentucky Wildcat basketball fan. Kentucky Blue. This will go in my hall closet. Peaches and cream. And this colorway is actually called Dazzle Blue. Really pretty. And I've got white already here. So, Kentucky Blue and white. Then, I got these two because I thought these would make a nice little set. And so the solid is called Tangerine, and the striped is called Poppy. So, oh, beautiful. I think that's going to make a, a really nice set. And I think I should be able to get two dishcloths out of each skein. Um, I'm going to give it a try. And if I don't, then I'll have however far the the yarn gets me on the second one, and then I'll fill it in with the stripes. So it'll be kind of like a mix and match. I'll show them to you though, whenever I whenever I get there. And guys, I um I love doing swaps and everything, and I got a really nice um swap package. Knitters are just, knitters are just the best. Crafters are just the best because it's not, she's not just a knitter. Um, so I actually got two and one of the projects, I don't know what this is made out of, but it is a really pretty cow and it is some of the softest material I've ever felt in my life. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I'm going to have to ask her what she made this out of. And I think that it's reversible too because it's got a really cool pattern here and then it's got like a really cool pattern there too. I don't know. So that came in one package that I got, um, and I wanted to show that off before, before I start wearing it and forget about it. And then she also sent me some lace, which I don't knit with lace, so I'm probably going to end up giving this away. Oh, sorry. It's upside down. Um, if you're a, a lace knitter or you knit with lace, or you could use lace, um, let me know, because I might send this to you. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Hey, my, my editor could edit that out. So the next package I got, it's really cool. I love... Um, getting packages from her. She sews and knits and all kinds of stuff. Um, this particular package, if you don't know me in person, um, I also love to read. I love to read. I love to knit. Um, so I got a book. I think it's going to be pretty good. I like the little cozy mysteries. They're, they're so much fun and they're quick read. I got this gorgeous handmade stocking and look little yarn ball with yarn balls. Oh guys, my uncle made me a yarn bowl by hand out of a tree on my that had fallen 
um, on my grandparents' property and talk about a cherished gift. That means so much to me. And it's sitting in my um, living room beside my chair. So, um, on my next podcast, if I remember, I will show you my um, yarn bowl. I also got some candy. And a little, either a mug rug or it could be a face scrubby. Either way, it could be used. And a candy cane print dishcloth. Isn't that the cutest? And now that I've shown those, I can put them, put this one in my, in my yarn or in my washcloth stash. <laughs> Oh, snap. Nice, cozy socks. And some hot chocolate. And some little Altoids, which I need to already put in my bag. <laughs> some candy. I love, love, like, peppermint bark. Um... Peppermint candy, chocolate, peppermint. Actually, I bought a bag of the little Hershey Bells that is the peppermint. And then I got a little, another little, um, one of those um, mug cakes. I couldn't think of the name of them. So, that was all in my, shoved down in my stocking. And then, oh, I also got a coffee mug, which I already have put in the kitchen. Um, I think that was almost it. And then I got this, you guys. I've not heard of this before. Barocco Nebula. Look at these colors. And each skein has 416 yards. Um, and I think that I already have two shawls, actually, in mind for this. If not two, I definitely have one already in mind for it. But it's just, it's gorgeous. Like, it's brown and like a plum purple and a red and pink and... I don't know how well that's showing up against my red shirt, but they're gorgeous. So, yeah, um, that's what I got, bought, and got in the mail. Um, I sent some goodies out this week. have some more to send out. Um, that is about it. Um... We've got a pretty laid back week, except for today I did have to take my 13 year old Addison to the doctor. She was complaining of a sore throat and, um, I really just don't mess around with sore throats. I, I ended up in the emergency room once with a, um, a case of strep that had gotten extremely bad and I had to have IVs and shots and still take meds for 10 days and um, was told that it's a good thing I came in because my throat was really close to closing up and would have possibly closed up that, that night. Um, I know somebody that died from strep throat. So I don't mess around with sore throats. It's, if my kids tell me that their throat's sore and it's sore enough to where, um, it hurts to swallow their own spit, which is what my 13 year old said, um, we are going into the doctor and we are getting you swabbed. Um, the rapid test came back negative and said that she didn't have strep. So, of course, they're going to culture it. And they said it's viral and, you know, drink plenty of fluids, get plenty of rest. Um, I'm thinking that she's probably got the cold that we've, a couple of us in the house have had. and Because I did have a sore throat when I had it. Um, and I know some other kids complain about a sore throat. Uh, so I got her some hard candy and that she can take to school with her. And I got her some popsicles and ice cream. And 
hopefully she feels better soon. Um, she's got a band concert this week, um, which I'm having to miss my one of my knitting groups for, but that's okay. I enjoyed the band concert and the, the choral, chorus concerts. I just hate that they always have to be on a Thursday night. Um, wish they'd start moving them to Tuesday nights. But it is what it is. Anyway, so that's pretty much going to be our week. Work. Take care of a sick little kid. Um, not little kid. She's 13. Um, band concert. Full moon and Friday the 13th this week. Guys, if you don't think that the moon has something to do with people acting crazy... You don't work in a school or a hospital because both situations, things go crazy. Then top it off with that we are expecting snow. We have an 80% chance of snow, even though it's only supposed to be like one to three inches. That's why we're kind of just hoping for a two hour delay and not a day off. Although I'm not going to lie, I'll take a day off, but... I would really appreciate a two-hour delay. Do you know how much knitting I could get done and coffee drinking I could do? Anyway, guys, I hope the rest of your week's great. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, um, I did notice that uh, my last video had a really great question on it about what made me start knitting and... Um, I had a friend that went to a knitting group. She actually crocheted and she kept telling me I need to join. I need to come check it out. And um, I was pregnant with my son and thought, sure, I would love to make some baby hats and blankets. Um, he was due in December. Um, it was going to be getting cold. So I went and fell in love and I loved my teacher dearly. Um, she became a really good friend. Um, she taught me a lot. She, um, used to always tell me that if anything were to happen to her, I would be taking over the group. And I kept telling her, oh, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. And one night she pulled me aside after class and told me she had cancer. And... She told me that she had told the the librarians, which is where we meet, um, that I was going to be taking over the group. So, I had to take over the group. And, um, she passed away uh, a little, about maybe a year from that date that she told me that. Uh, maybe not even a year. But we all miss her a lot. And, um, but yeah, that's why or how I got started knitting. And my first projects were actually crochets, crocheted blankets. And then I moved on to hats. So, yeah, if you have any questions, um, ask me below, email me, post in one of my groups, whichever way you want to contact me. Um, send me a private message on Instagram, whichever. Anyway, guys, have a great week. Happy knitting. Happy crafting. Hope you get lots of lovely stuff done this week. Bye.